All right, much brew time. Playing some Legacy Stacks. And this hand is pretty all right. Three mana. We have bridges and stacks eventually. All right, so play land. Pass the turn. Our big question is going to be, do we play City of Traders next turn? So we can play Metal Worker? Or do we wait play it as our third land because we do have to sack it when we play another land blue to delta for our opponent cracks it what is this like shardless salt eye shardless bug oh leovold okay well inventors fair go i think this is what we got to do off to a bit of a slow start for catacombs for our opponent it's in 4-4. Four, four. And more stuff? Yikes. Brainstorm. Leobold is pretty absurd. In the old days, these effects were symmetrical. <laughs> and by the old days, I mean like Theros block. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Bullock just brainstorming away. True name Nemesis. Ratchet Bomb. Well, we gotta play City of Traders. Play Bottled Coolster. It doesn't draw us cards, but it does set up Ensnaring Bridge next turn to keep us alive. So that's what it's gonna be about. We gotta resolve this bridge. Also, make sure our bridge doesn't get hit by Thought Seize or something. So we take six, down to ten. Deathrite Shaman. Alright, we get our cards back. Are we playing this Wasteland? Oh, boy. Counterspell gets us, Force gets us, Daze does not. Well, playing Snaring Bridge. There's the Force. Play Wasteland. Play Ratchet Bomb. Pass the turn. So I think our our one way of maybe living is to draw another bridge off the top. That's our one out here. If we draw a bridge, we can ratchet bomb away the one drops. Also have it not get countered. And we stabilize it like two. But I think that's the only draw that matters. So charge up our ratchet bomb. If they can abrupt decay our ratchet bomb, we lose even if we draw a bridge. All right, no bridge. Yup, yup, yup. Yikes, that was a a brutal beatdown. We probably want Tabernacle, I guess, to eat up our opponent's mana. Lodestone doesn't seem great. Revoker, not that great. Chalice on one can still be good. What do we cut? Let's just cut a Mind Stone and try it like that. All right, we get to play first. Well, we get to put our opponent to the test. This is this is pretty good. We'll keep this. So our opponent needs Force of Will, or else we get Trinisphere down. So Ancient Tomb, Mox Diamond, discard the Buried Ruin, and Trinisphere. All right, no Force. So now I think we get the free win. Because now we can just smokestack next turn. Eh, all right, I guess that slows us down. Inventor's Fair, go. We can't cast our Mind Stone because of Trinisphere. Well, our opponent's not going to be doing anything for a while. We need a land, not a land. Yikes, that Wasteland. Hoisted by our own petard. Land? All right, there's a land. Let's Metal Worker. That's the most explosive of our options. Because if that resolves, next turn we can, like, just empty our hand, essentially. So our opponent needs to kill this, like, right away. And if they kill it, they're going to get timed walk, and then we get to have free reign to do something next turn. Wow, just a true name. Okay, well, that's fine. So we start gaining life. We draw a bridge. Yeah, this is pretty good. 
reveal everything. We have 11 mana. We'll play Mind Stone. Play Smokestack. Play Ensnaring Bridge. And pass the turn. And that should do it. It's uh, I have a hard time imagining that we lose from here. So pass turn. Smokestack not doing anything yet, but we pretty much have our opponent just hard locked out of this game. They have so many things they need to deal with now. And uh, they likely don't have enough ways of doing it. All right, there's a Wasteland. Turn one turn is here is pretty good. Abrupt decays the bridge. All right, there's step one. And then Wasteland's Inventor's Fair. Okay. Gets in with the true name. So we'll start adding smokestack counters. We draw a factory. Yeah, let's do it this way. It doesn't matter. Play Powder Keg. Play Mishra's Factory. Get in with our Metal Worker. And pass turn. We need a Crucible for the hard, hard lock. But this is a decent lock. Like, as long as we can beat True Name Nemesis. Opponent has a Pithing Needle. Hmm. What do they name with that? Okay, Powder Keg. Eh, yeah, that's obvious, I guess. Or else it would just kill the needle. Well, we can sack that to our smokestack. Opponent gets in. So we... Powder Keg, doesn't really matter. We're going to sack it. Sack Powder Keg. Go up to two counters. Ooh, and a Wasteland. So let's... Fire up our factory. Go attacking. Wasteland, Wasteland the, actually maybe we don't, let's not Wasteland yet, let's pass. Our opponent's kind of locked under this smokestack anyway. Misty, cracks Misty, gets a forest, plays a Noble Hierarch, gets in with the true name Nemesis. So, pay our mana, sacrifice, drown yard temple, and metal worker. Then get back, drown yard temple. One, two. Uh, I guess we got to go up to three. Another wasteland. All right, this does it. So, wasteland, wasteland. Opponent's going to go empty board. So we got there. So spend all of our mana. We have to sack three permanents. Drown Yard Temple. Smokestack. And I guess Mox Diamond. But then we get to get back our Drown Yard Temple. Wasteland. Go. All right. Well, we came out ahead of that smokestack line, and we still have a Trinisphere, and we have mana to play things, and our opponent does not, and we still have a Wasteland left over. Mox Diamond doesn't do much, so let's start getting in with our factory. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. Um, one, two, yeah, I guess we just play Mox Diamond. Discard the city. Fire up our factory. So hopefully we can just do this a few more turns and close out this game. Alright, opponent finds land. And let's sack Mind Stone. Ancient Tomb. Alright. Well, fire up our factory. Ancient Tomb, pass the turn. No land. Alright. Oh man, more cities. Well, factory, get in with factory, pass the turn, there's the crucible, that's what we wanted. 
so let's crucible get back our inventors fair fire up the factory pass the turn opponents discarding now we have inventors fair going another buried ruin well factory get back buried ruin and pass a turn opponent passes and our opponent scoops it up whoo all right we got there that's the lock we're looking for that's pretty much how we drew it up uh yeah let's run it back um Ooh. okay this hand's actually pretty sweet if our stuff resolves we don't have a lock piece, but we have... I mean, we have bridge, I guess. I guess we're also a land short, but we're on the draw. I mean, if we can get down our Crucible, this is exactly what we want. Because we can discard our lands to Mox Diamond, get them back with Crucible. And we got a bridge to stop the creature beats. Island for our opponent. It's a smokestack. Um, yeah, let's just Mishra's Factory past the turn. Come on, land! Land, land, land! Alright, opponent plays a Misty, cracks the Misty, gets a Trop, and Noble High Arc. Alright, so let's Mox Diamond, discard Inventor's Fair, Mox Diamond, discard Wasteland, and let's Ensnaring Bridge here. If our opponent's gonna counter something, this is better than Crucible. Crucible we really need to resolve. Yep, there's the days. Nope, we can't pay. Well, good thing our Crucible did not get dazed. Island for our opponent. Gets in with Noble High Arc. Yep. Land passes. Interesting. Now let's get him a Mishra's Factory. Tabernacle, pass the turn. Now our opponent's got to start paying to keep their stuff alive, which is going to make it harder for them to counter our stuff, although Force and Days are technically free. All right, Forest for our opponent. We just want to get this Crucible down and get our lands back. We even have the Wasteland. Then we can start really getting our opponent. Gets in with Noble High Arc. And passes... Eh, let's just chalice on one. Try to play around days as much as we can. Especially since this crucible is so important. Even if we get one turn or two turns with it. Alright, we get to pay for the days. Alright, another days. Can't pay for that one. Well, we got three days out of our opponent's hand. And they had to pick up a land. So we are slowing them down a lot. It might be next turn that we just have to slam the Crucible. I mean, can't really expect a fourth days. And we know at least one card in their hand is a land. So it might be time just to slam it. Well, there goes our... Well, it'll be interesting. What does our opponent take here? I would take Crucible, I think, is the most important card. Although, Smokestack is kind of the game ender if we get that down. Yeah, they take the Crucible. I guess that's the only card we can play at the moment as well, so that might be part of it. Opponent gets in. Oh, there's Ancient Tomb. So let's Smokestack. Pass the turn. Keep taxing our opponent. Now they kind of have to keep their Noble Hierarch alive, because once they stop paying, that's another permanent they don't have to sack to the Smokestack. And Smokestack is pretty good. Our opponent's got to go aggro and just try to beat us before we kill them. But Tabernacle's going to make that challenging. All right, Leovold for our opponent. Gets in. 4-1. So put a counter on our smokestack. Oh, that's Crucible. That's exactly what we were looking for. So play Crucible. Get back Wasteland. Wasteland the Trop. Opponent gets to draw a card, unfortunately. Man, Leovold is so good. I think that's still worth it, though. Opponent has to pay two mana to keep their creatures alive and sack a permanent. 
Sacks the High Arc to the Smokestack. Pays for Leovold. Polluted Delta. Baleful Strix. That's some good sacrifice fodder. Yep. So take our beads down to 11. What are we sacking? I guess the... Oh, boy. I guess the factory? We draw Wasteland. Get back the factory. Play the Colster. Pass the turn. We're getting close. Are we going to get our opponent's board empty before they kill us? We don't get to draw, unfortunately, because of this Leovold, which is so good. So our opponent can sack, like, Baleful Strix and land. Ooh, just sacks two lands. Interesting. And now our opponent spends has to spend their mana to keep... They didn't even float mana, did they? They did not. I think our opponent kind of mucked up this turn. Because now they have to spend their mana paying to keep their creatures alive. Something went very wrong for our opponent. At the very least, they should have just floated mana. Alright, they pay for Leovold. Uh, yeah, our opponent just said in the chat they they messed it up bad there. Yeah, they they need to at least float mana to keep their stuff alive. They really got themselves in a bind now. Alright, gets in with Leovold. Cracks Misty. Play Gets an Underground C. Another Baleful Strix. Yep. So let's get our cards back. Another Smokestack. So we need to sack two... And right now, I think that's Colster and Ancient Tomb. One, two... Uh, I think we gotta add a counter, as painful as that is. Get back Inventor's Fair. Play a second Smokestack. Pass the turn. Smokestack just for sacrificing purposes. Because we're going to have to sack three, and we have to keep this smokestack alive one more turn. And it looks like we're going to get our opponent empty boarded. Basically, oh man, our opponent's still not floating mana. Oh dear. Oh man. Oh, is this the one with zero? No, that's the one with three. Oh boy. Oh boy, <laughs> poor opponent. <laughs> well, I guess people are... <laughs> oh my goodness, and they scoop it up. I will say that... Stacks and Legacy is not that common of a strategy, and people just I might not be used to playing against Smokestack, because that was, I mean, I think we were okay there, but it was going to be super close. I'm not sure if we would have won that game or not, but our opponent not floating mana, and then doing it again the next turn, uh, kind of sealed the deal in our favor, so, oh, sweet.